Welcome back, everybody. Glad you could be here. Chili is the man. Chili's the gift that just keeps on giving. He just, he's not going to learn. I mean, well, he is learning. He's learning to be a better con man. Because this was what was posted, I think, today. And he's going to say, he's going to admit to being a loser, which is great. So can't wait for that. But he's got a new grift. He's got a new con. And of course, they're going to fall for it. He's going the route of like the Moors that hold classes that teach you how to be better Moors or the Sovsets that teach you how to be better sovereign citizens. He's going to teach you to be a better First Amendment auditor. You know, the man who loses, continues to lose and continues to lose. But now he's figured it out. So let's hear from his own mouth, his own voice, on what his new con is. I went in front of Judge Zimmerman again, and she, she had already decided that I wasn't going to give myself on. And, you know, for Ms. Zimmerman, we, what she doesn't understand is that I really have fundamentally changed my perspective. She may not know that because she only sees what she sees on video, you know, how I, the way I am with my bravado. But obviously, after losing in Arizona, losing in Massachusetts, losing in Ohio, and now losing in Nevada, the common denominator there is me. And so when I go to court, I have to change the way I have been, or I'm just going to continue to lose. I'll just continue to lose over and over and over again. So where Ms. Zimmerman was incorrect was that, I, I unfortunately, I've had two weeks of just completely being you know, in this position like this where all you have time to think. And so I have changed, and I want to advise anybody else who ever hears me that you should not behave the way that I have done in court in four different states, and I've lost in four states. So obviously, the problem is me, and so I have to change the way I am. Continuing on that idea, as I move into public life, I have to change the rhetoric that I use because there's a half the people support cops, and the other half the people don't trust cops at the least. So regardless, though, if I'm going to run for any kind of public office, I have to change my rhetoric. And this is where Ms. Zimmerman was completely wrong. I, I realize now that I have to change. After losing in four states and four different courts, it's not – what's the common denominator? It's me. And so that means that I'm doing it wrong. And so that's what I want to teach other people. Don't do it like I did. Do it right. Do it. Show the deference and the reverence that you have to show to the court. Even if we don't agree with the system as it is, we still have to live within it. Or, as you saw, I got in front of Ms. Zimmerman, and Ms. Zimmerman formally married a police officer. So, obviously, from her wedding, she's going to have police friends that she's had for the last 20 or 30 years. I have been openly disrespectful to the police. So, obviously, if I go in front of her court and I show her horses ass like I did, and she has the power to put me in jail, she's going to. This makes perfect sense to me. It's not personal. I put myself in a bad position. She has all the power and I have none. And she exercised her power. So I made the mistake. It's my mistake. Now, do I feel like it's fair? Of course I don't. <laughs> there was people who've been released from jail here who have committed felonies, who have committed crimes, who have actually stolen or robbed or hurt another person and they have less time than I do. But if you put a camera up the same ass, they don't like it. They don't want to be filmed. And uh, they don't like my rhetoric. They don't like the way I talk about police, and they don't like the way I teach people. And so some of those things do have to change. It's not necessarily going to change that I appreciate an authoritative system where the only solution for any sort of disagreement with government is that you go to jail. I mean, there was, you know, I mean, there was just cages and cages of men going to court today. I, obviously, obviously, I can't give any of the layout here. And uh, the guards here, they, so I'll, I'll tell you the initial of a guard. He has initial L, that's all I'm going to say. He came to me and said to me, listen, they have a very strict, rigid set of policies, procedures, and protocols here, so I don't have to fear for my life because there's always going to be more than two or three guards at one time, and that if I just follow the rules as the rules are laid out, then I will be, I will be just fine, and I will do four of the six months, and I should be out in July uh, at the latest August. So... The guards have been fair to me. I haven't seen the guards abuse anybody. I haven't seen them be overtly cruel to anybody. It's a very protocol system here. So 
I have nothing negative to say about any of the guards here. None of them have treated me. I mean, I don't agree that I should have been thrown in a hole for making a third-party call when I did not make a third-party call. But at the same time, you know, when in Rome, dance like the Romans, or you're gonna get you're gonna get cooked. So while I don't agree with the ruling on the the, the meeting that I had, I have two more days left in the hole, and tomorrow I will get no phone call out. None. I'll be locked in a room tomorrow for, from tonight when I get off this phone until Wednesday when hopefully I get to go back to a regular setting where I can continue to read. So I would like to say thank you to the guards who have been kind to me. There have been, and they do watch and listen to my channel. There's a lot of guards in here who watch my channel. And thank you for not being overtly cruel to me. And some of them have changed my perception on jail guards. They just have not gone out of their way to be cruel at all. And I haven't seen any of that. I've seen people who, you know, if you're not quiet or you don't fall in line, then they, they come down pretty hard on you. And I, there's some things I don't agree with, but I don't think that now is the time to voice those concerns. I think, think that there'll be a time when I come out of here that if I live through this, and I hope that I do, that I'll be able to write a book and I'll be able to tell the differences and things that I see. But right now I'm just going to try to get along. So the next two phases are we are appealing to the Nevada State Supreme Court because of the constitutional issues that there is no 21-foot rule and that the judge had some had some definite anger towards me because of the way that I performed in court. And I've done it in three different states. So obviously, I count messing up. And so I'm going to change the way I do it. And I'm also always going to hire the absolute top-rated best attorney in any place I ever go again. So that's what I'm going to do, and that was my mistake as well. I, uh, the, the second part of that is that we're going to file a, a petition for a writ of habeas corpus to be released from jail for ineffective counsel because Michael Mead did not submit a First Amendment brief, did not submit any motion to dismiss the case. Then he didn't do any video analysis of the police video, and then he didn't submit my only evidence, my video, into evidence. He didn't submit the only evidence I had into, into evidence. And so... Uh, then he called me to the stand, and we did no witness preparation. And so that would, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it was ineffective counsel. I, I, I like Michael Mee as a person. I think he's a wonderful human being. I think in this particular case, he was ineffective. So even as you can see, um, um, because I, I know that, this, I mean, the judge told me today in the court, she watches my videos. So as you see, as you can see, even now, if, if you know, if Ms. Zimmerman is ever to hear this, I've changed the way I even speak because I have to adjust my rhetoric if I'm going to survive in a system that wants to put you in jail if you put yourself in a position to be put in jail. And I've, I've performed this way in four states. And so now at this point where I'm in jail, we have, we have to take a look at my conduct and say, maybe it's you, bro. Maybe it's you. And so I have to change. I have to change ever so slightly here. I have to change the way I behave. And so I will. And so I will. And then as far as the auditing game, now that I have been arrested in jail and I understand just going through the court process with the cop, I have learned how to audit in a way now that will make it so that I can teach an auditing class because now I know the red flags that will come up in court. And when I get out of here, I will teach that class. I have mapped out constitutional law scholar uh, on paper here in, in solitary confinement. And so I'm going to send that off to people. Uh, and I'm going to try to start getting that game put together. I had all the time in the world, so I did it. I just sat there and pulled the pieces of paper and made squares because that's all I have. All I have is squares of paper. So I'm going to mail those off. And um, I do appreciate all the support. And then um, California, it's, it's California people of the state of. California people of the state of. That person, whoever that is, California people of the state of. Thank you. I'm looking at at least another week or two in here if the appeal to the Nevada State Supreme Court is heard. And then I'm looking at the week or two for the writ of habeas corpus. So I'm looking at, you know, at least one to three more weeks in here if, if both of those get filed in a timely manner. So I'm looking at being in here and through the month of April until the middle or end of April at the very earliest. And at the latest, it's August, but likely middle end of July and that will serve my entire sentence so that's where I'm at that's where I'm at so what do you think let me know in the comments is it a new grift or did he actually learn his lesson 
And how successful do you think he'll be on his new venture? I think he's going to do just fine, which is awful. So we got to keep covering him. We got to let him know that there are real people out there that don't believe his crap and that want to stop him.